Hello everyone. Okay, this is the new setup. I've got my new coil hidden underneath that. Uh, the compressed starship is the drive coil and in the center of that, in the core of that, is a single wire stack pancake, uh, pancake assembly. Um, that is a pickup and that is being monitored by that meter right there and the, there's a bottom coil underneath everything there that is another single wire stack pancake coil all by itself that's being that's a generator coil as well and that's being monitored by that and then back there I have the uh, voltage that's being stored that is uh, the inductive collapse and the voltage that's being generated by the compressed starship it's stored in those capacitors right there so there and there are no loads on anything except for that I have a 10k resistor on that there's a little bit in that uh, capacitor bank right now obviously the others are relatively zero right now and then I have the scope and I'm hoping that the image is going to come out okay on that and I'm running three batteries one two three so for a total of approximately 39 volts and I have my controller there and if all goes well, we're going to see some serious speed. Okay. So I think I'm just going to set the camera up so we can perhaps see the scope. Okay. Let's see if I can straighten out the picture. Sorry about this. All right, that never comes out very well. Right now we're set at uh, 500 microseconds per division. Um, the bottom trace will be the hall generator. That's the yellow trace, and the blue trace is the uh, drain of the MOSFET driver, and that's set at one volt per division, and that is set on uh, times 10. So I'm going to get things fired up.
microseconds for the vision. We have adjusted it a little bit. We made it up to 1600 hertz. That's dropping down, but we were over 300 volts there. 168. It's all dropping. And that was off the charts. So there you have it. I had to manually adjust the uh, hall sensor, but there's not a lot of room in there to adjust. I'm going to pull the camera off here. Let's give you a, a peek. You can see the bottom coil there, and then the big coil up top. There, maybe that'll help. Well, 1600 hertz.